Hello and welcome to my channel and today's video we will see pickling and unpickling process in python in pickling we are serializing or flattening the python object hierarchy or data structure in terms of a byte stream so that it could be stored into a file means we are storing the object into a file by converting into a byte stream the process is called as pickling inverse of pickling is unpickling the stored object in a file which is in byte stream is converted into an object hierarchy using unpickling operation also called as deserialization. For pickling we use pickle module from the pickle module we call the dump operation to store the object into a file so that it can be used later. For unpickling we use load operation pickle.load to get the byte stream in terms of a object hierarchy. The load operation automatically identifies the structure of object looking at the byte stream and convert it into a python object. Let us understand this by example. In the first statement we are importing a pickle module. We have a python dictionary object tour. This tour is to be stored inside a binary file data.pkl. So we are opening data.pkl file in a write mode. It is a binary file. Therefore, mode of opening a file is bw using the open function. Here we have a file object or file handle fh. Using this file object or file handle, what we will do? We call pickle.dump store the object tour inside the file fh so that it can be used later click on the cell run the cell what is done here your object is stored inside the file data.pkl which is a binary file and we are closing this file so first operation is done we have serialized a python object converted into a byte stream and stored it into a file now later session in the later session we want to use the same object so we are importing pickle we are opening the same file so that the object could be retrieved so the mode of opening the file is rb read binary and file object in this case is f click on the cell run the cell now using pickle dot load we are getting the file object and storing it into the new variable called as new tool so this load function automatically identifies the object stored inside the file converts the byte stream into that object and store it in the name variable name new tour click on the cell and run the cell now we have created the object we have the object to be used inside the program what we do we print the object click on the cell and run the cell we get the info same information the object which was stored as the output which is a dictionary of key value pairs city is the key and its values hotel is the key and its values and then we close the file so in this video we have seen how to do pickling and unpickling operation so that object in the file could be stored object in the program could be stored into a file and then it can be used in a later session when required that's it regarding this video thank you thanks for watching do hit that subscribe button for more such technical content. See you in the next video.